Aldo Nausia, Sail Buru. Madam Ministers, representatives from the public sector, Director of the Commission of the European Commission, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Technology, sustainability, and values. That's the subtitle of this International Congress because vocational training, as always, is a place which is truly appropriate to share projects and to show that we are prepared to face challenges. And this is important to say that, and we need to share that with all of you because at the end of the day, the idea that we have our society is changing so far to date We've always divided in industry from services, but now everything is going to be based on technology and digitalization. We're right at the beginning of the fourth industrial revolution, and this means that we need to transform society, and this transformation is here. And it's going to lead to a new model of society. In our education system and in VET, it's going to uh, lead to a whole series of things that need to be looked at very closely. We need to develop, work, and think about the human side to this industrial revolution. Because you can think about a traditional model, but now it, we're in a new model based on technology, connectivity, and digitalization. So our challenge is to foresee the consequences that this will have in the education system and, of course, in VET. This new reality is going to require that citizens increase their skills, that they upskill or reskill, and that uh, society progresses is in what we can call intellectual capital. And this progress will be based on research development, investment in innovation, opting for new advanced services, and, of course, upskilling and reskilling. Education is truly a challenge for our country. And in VET, this profound sense of this challenge means that we need to work on the human face, the human dimension of the fourth industrial revolution. We need to be aware of how important people are going to become when developing this transformation. Beyond technological progress, what is relevant here is to ground knowledge, creativity, talent, and of course, values. Our ethos, which are at the forefront of this Congress here. Vocational education and training is becoming strategically important for competitiveness and for the progress of our productive fabric, as well as for people's employability. There's no better source of creativity and innovation than a person who thinks. Here we are today. And we've got different European representatives here. Parentis and the commissioner has just spoken uh, to us, has just uh, broadcast her uh, message. And we will be hearing from Manuela Galeng. These are people from outside that we need to listen to to get to know their experiences. It's so important if we want to carry on in along this path of what we call Ausolam, because we look to Europe. The European Commission has just said that by the year 2020, only 15% of the working active population can have the luxury of being unskilled. What does that mean? It means that 85% of the population are going to need to be highly skilled. These are figures from Europe. If we transfer those figures here to the Basque country, if we look at our productive fabric, and this figure will there's no way that it can be greater than 10% because we are so industrialized. So that means that in the Basque country, 90% of jobs will require highly skilled workers. So you can imagine what the role of vocational education and training is. So we're forward-looking, and we need to be forward-looking. Vocational education and training needs to be forward-looking because 85% of 
the occupied population needs to be highly skilled by 2020. This fourth revolution, in addition to skills, is going to require a shift in values. Technology advances, there's robotics, we have AI, connectivity and digitalization. They're all going to define what it means to be human in a very fu a future that's going to be very different and is only just around the corner. Technology is going to tra transform the way we live, work and relate to each other. New jobs, the gradual incorporation of women, especially in technical and scientific areas. New forms of participating, more innovation. These are the challenges of vocational education and training. We need to be able to show that we are able to head off change and we need to be prepared to take part in this transformation. Transformation which is based on people, on their values, their skills and their ability to innovate and collaborate. Once again, I'm here today. This is a, not my first time at this International Congress. I've looked through the programme, the people that are going to be recognised for their hard work. And I have to say to you that Basque vocational education and training makes me very, very proud. So I should like to say thank you to the Commissioner for Employment, Social Affairs, Skills and uh, Workplace Mobility, Mrs. Marianne Thiessen, for her words, because as the Basque president, it's a matter of pride that Europe values the VET system in the Basque country and that they consider us an international benchmark. We're going to carry on in the Basque country collaborating with the European institutions because progress in this field will benefit us all. The challenge of VET is to prepare youngsters knowing how to combine technological and scientific knowledge with human knowledge. The key is get it right, to get this combination of technology and the human quality right. And the attitude that VET show is an attitude of uh, provision. What we want to do is to, at the end of the day, increase the welfare of the whole of society. That's our goal, our ultimate aim. We want to respond to this new world that's being built by promoting new values. Thank you so much to vocational education and training to be standard bearers in this route. Thank you.